Shantanu asks, how much of the HashiCorp tools questions have made it into the Red Hat certifications? As far as I know, they have not because Red Hat certifications are on Red Hat products. So Red Hat certified system administrator is on RHEL, right? Because that's the product that it's the certification for. The EX300 is on automation and covers things like shell scripting, which can be used to automate tasks or Ansible, which is used to automate tasks. The others, there's, there's a one on containers, which talks about making containers and interacting with containers. And so there's a lot of like Podman and Builda and that type of stuff on that one. Every Red Hat certification exam actually has a objectives page. In fact, let me go over here. I'll show you what it looks like. On every exam page, there's this objectives tab. And this very clearly tells you what is covered on this exam, right? These are the things that you should be expected to know. Creating simple shell scripts, booting the machine, configuring local storage, right? So if we go to another exam, one second. So this is the certified specialist in containers. If you go to the objectives tab, right? It's telling you here are the skills that you should have to find success on this exam. Managing images and registries, running containers using Podman, running multi-application containers with Podman, troubleshooting application containers. So every certification will have this. If there are specific technologies that are used, like the one I showed you for RHCSA said shell scripting, telling you the technology. I haven't seen any that say things like Terraform or Vault, but if those were tested, they would be listed on the objectives guide for that exam. That would be my answer to you, Chantanou, which is look at the exam objectives. Granite Penguin asks, could you use Foreman instead of satellite? I mean, maybe. So Red Hat exams are end state tested, meaning we tell you what we want to have happen. And then we test to see whether that's the thing. So if let's say the requirement is adding a user, you could use user add. That's probably what I would do to add a user to the machine. Um, but you could alternatively edit the Etsy password file, edit the Etsy shadow file, create a password and copy and paste it into things, make dir their home directory and chone it to make sure it's owned by that user account. Like you could do all that stuff too and get the same end result of adding a user to the system. Um, so I, I once joked at one point there was an exam where we had to configure a mail server. And it's like, you, you could install Postfix and configure it. That's what I would do. Or you could write a mail server in Perl from scratch. Uh, that would also potentially meet the exam objective, but would take a lot longer and be a lot more difficult. Probably not worth spending your time on. If you're showing up to the satellite exam, I would do satellite things. I wouldn't like hork around with individual hammer database commands or individual form and things like use the satellite user interface to do the things because that's what the exam is kind of designed on on you doing right they're asking you questions for satellite configuration and the mechanism that is provided for satellite configuration largely is the web ui that's what i would do i actually had a friend who a long time ago we had a exam for red hat virtualization um, and he did all of the configuration of the exam stuff using overt commands and was unhappy when he got his exam score back because he did not pass. And it's like, well, but if you do it through the graphical administration, there's other things that occur, right? So like when you create a machine, it doesn't just create the machine. It also creates a whole bunch of metadata and it stores the machine on logical volume devices, which means it creates logical volume devices. And so if you're doing everything direct, are those the same behaviors that are happening? And the answer was no. So he did not do very well because he didn't fully implement all the things that the exam was looking for, for things that were configured on the machine. 